Hi, I'm Tom from the Burp Scanner development team. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about Incy Wincy mode in Burp Scanner. So we're continually adding features to the Burp Scanner so that it can increase coverage when crawling the modern web, especially when there are behaviors that make crawling otherwise difficult. But some web applications are actually really easy to crawl, and we don't necessarily want all of these bells and whistles turned on if they come at the cost of performance. So how does Incy Wincy mode differ from the default crawling settings? There are three main ways I'm going to go over using Portsvigger's Gin and Juice Shop to do some manual examples. So the first way in which they differ is path walking. By default, when Burp Crawler is running, what it'll do is if it's on a page, it will record all the links it sees as well as where it's seen them and then walk back to where it saw each link before following it. This means that it makes sure that it's always got the same session as when it saw a link to make sure it'll be there when it goes back again. So if we had this page, for example, the products page in Gin and Juice, it's got all these product links. What it would do is effectively put the Gin and Juice shop address in the address bar then go to the products page, then click on product one, then put the gin and juice shop address in the address bar again, go to products, go to product two, and so on and so forth. How Incy Wincy mode differs is instead of maintaining a list of paths, it just maintains a list of URLs that it's scraped off the page. So again, if it was on this product page and it saw all of these product links, what it would do is just record the URLs and paste them into the address bar directly. So it would first go to product one, and then it would put product two in the address bar, and product three, and so on. This is pretty much exactly how Burp Spidey used to work, and is where, unsurprisingly, the name Incy Wincy comes from. The second way in which it differs is the use of Burp Suite's built-in cookie jar. So because by default, the crawler is trying to create and maintain sessions itself, it doesn't interact with Burp's cookie jar at all. Incy Wincy mode, on the other hand, does. When it starts up, it'll take a copy of all the cookies in the cookie jar and use those as a starting point for crawling. This is useful if you want to use Burp Suite's embedded proxy to authenticate and then have the crawler continue to use your authentication, assuming it's cookie-based. So for example, you could use Burp's proxy to go and log in, and then go and kick off a crawl using Incy Wincy mode, and it would just continue crawling using this, this session. The caveat here is that, again, similar to the Burp Spider of old, you have to make sure to put any session killing links out of scope because Incy Wincy mode will, for example, see this logout link, follow it, and then just barrel on without noticing that it's lost its authenticated session. Authentication is also the third way in which um, the Incy Wincy mode differs from the default crawl settings, this time with automatic authentication. So the way in which the default crawler handles authentication is in separate phases. Firstly, the crawler will do one phase completely unauthenticated, making a note of any login forms it finds along the way. It'll then do a follow-up pass where it goes back to these login forms and uses any credentials you've given it to log in and crawl from there. So it would crawl like this without any authentication, spot this login form, and then in a follow-up pass, it would go and fill that out and crawl from there. The behavior is the same with recorded logins in that it'll do one pass without any recorded logins you've given it, and then it'll do a follow-up with those recorded logins and kind of compare what it sees to what it saw when it was unauthenticated. In Suinci, on the other hand, does it all in one go. So if you've given it any recorded logins, it will just start with those or do them very early on in the crawl. And if it spots any login forms along the way, it'll just fill them out as it sees them rather than waiting to do them in a follow-up pass. So finally, I'll hop over to Burp Suite and just show you how to turn this on. So if we go to a custom crawl configuration and go to the crawl optimization, NC Wincy mode is actually on by default if you select the fastest crawl settings. That's because we intended the fastest settings to work on or be used on the same kind of websites we think NC Wincy mode will work best on. So ones that don't use too many modern or difficult to crawl behaviors. If you want to combine NC Wincy mode with your own custom configuration, you can manually enable it or disable it inside these settings here. We added Incy Wincy mode, or specifically the ability to crawl favoring speed over thoroughness as, uh, as a result of users asking for it. So if you have any more ideas, keep them coming. <laughs>